we'll keep rolling it out, man. Stay tuned. You never know what's gonna happen in the world of uh, lawn land, right? What's up, everybody? Saturday. Not morning. <laughs> I'm not ever here in the morning. Saturday afternoon. Almost noon. Hitting up the cul-de-sac route. So, uh, my man Chris is rolling with me today. Since my other crew has weekends off. And Ian's still at the beach. Cheers, Ian. <laughs> we'll see you next week, Moan Grass, for sure. So, hey. Day before Easter, come out here, make these properties beautiful, and uh, see if we learn anything today. I hope not. I hope it's just an easy day. <laughs> I don't want to learn any lessons. Let's mow grass.
baby ferns. about 12.45 Saturday, right before Easter Sunday. Huge thank you to my man Chris coming out and helping me today. <laughs> if I was by myself, I would have been out here at eight o'clock in the morning till six o'clock at night, all right? He hooked it up. He's gonna hook up the push mowing with the new Honda and roll through the weed here. You know these places well. I'll show you real quick for those of you who are new. Just a little bit of grass, right? Let's roll through with the Turf Tiger 2 and make them shine. I right. throw them stripes down, guys. Every day, always strive to be perfect. Everything you do, it's important. All right, let's roll. So look, I was just coming up here. I saw Chris at the top of the hill here. I was coming up here to talk to him. Look, I, I parked it down here, all right? I parked him over down here. I was coming up here and talk to him. Look, he ain't here. Look, oh my gosh. What happened? It was only like 30 seconds. I'm coming to help, man. I'm coming to help, brother. Yeah, man. It'll make you drag that thing up the hill. <laughs> hey, man. Connor didn't die. All right, well, the rescue mission went fine. Hey, we've all lost mowers in the woods. Don't even sit there and lie. <laughs> it's always a funny story after the fact. Definitely scary when it happens, because 
when you're out here working, you don't want to damage expensive equipment. Even when you have employees, they don't want to tear your stuff up. They didn't want to tear that. They didn't want that to happen. Look, stuff happens, guys. Okay. So, <laughs> hey, I was hoping nothing was going to go wrong. And it, it didn't. All right. Mission's still underway. He's got a little bit left up here in this corner. Boom. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's thick. It's nice, healthy, tall turf fescue right here in the mountains of Virginia. So, we'll keep on mowing. That was fun. Real fun. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Get a summer sock going down, but mower's yeah. fine. He's not broken. Mower's not broken. Well, we're just gonna let it sit there, let the oil and everything just get back into its little original placement inside the engine. And we'll fire it up, see what happens. So, we'll keep rolling it out, man. Stay tuned. You never know what's gonna happen in the world of uh, lawn land, right? Variegated butterfly Japanese maple tree. Beautiful tree. And we have some variegated boxwoods here. That is on the mulching list. All of this is. Did the winter trimming already but we still gotta come up here do a, a bed clean out we got leaves and stuff in the corners over there and uh yeah this upper tier gets mulched this property here is 25 scoops so it's not a small feat to get this done Lucky we keep the edges pretty nice and tight every year. But uh yeah. Alright. Chris is chilling. I'm gonna start to mow up real quick, make sure it runs, and we'll go back to work. He just said they're built to last. Yeah, he's built to last too, man. He's young. He'll be out here a long time. Whether it's how steep the hill is. Oh, why do got they know how steep that is? <laughs> that goes. You're looking down at death. Way more than a country mile down the hill for sure into that log. So yeah. They know that. <laughs> hey. He'll be out here a while, whether it's with me helping or he's trying to get his own gig started. So yeah. Big shout out to Chris. Back to work. We 
got? Climbing hydrangeas all along that wall. I'll definitely get some footage of those when they bloom out for you guys. Right now I'm gonna show you these autolupin laurels that I keep planting in the ground. I'll show them to you once they're mature. Two of them right there. And those weren't ever manicured to keep short or anything. They have that beautiful tap maple too. So. A couple nice little examples, stuff I've been putting in the ground for you at full mature state, all right? Yeah, they turn out beautiful. As long as you feed them, water. That's where
Mm. So, yeah, giving my clients some uh, Easter weekend diamonds. <laughs> Show my appreciation to them. This has not been cut yet behind me. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw down the diamonds on this side too. <laughs> hey, it's just amazingly beautiful out here. And just living out here in God's world, making it even more beautiful than he made it. It's amazing. Here comes our amazing helicopter flying above our heads. Just to ruin the moment, you know. So hey, to get back on it. I've got this field and the entrance to mow. Chris is gonna run around and just barely nip weed eating where it needs to be done. Me personally, especially in springtime, I prefer to have plush, fluffy grass. I don't want, you know, big, huge gaps of dirt between my curb lines and my grass ever but springtime is the best time to just kind of go easy on the weed eating uh let it get established and yeah my opinion whatever we'll talk later peace Just anything. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> yeah. Turned out beautiful, right? Man. Skag. That thing really lays it down good.
All right. This is Coach Randall's conspiracy moment. All right. You see that wispy stuff above me? And that little airplane trail that they leave? Yeah. That wispy stuff that's getting ready to take over the entire sky? It's not a cloud, guys. Nope. You saw the clouds. The real clouds are the puffy, amazing-looking things that were in the sky. This trash here, that's just trash flying on top of you and me. The puffy clouds right there, those are clouds. Hey, I ain't got the answers. I'm not no government official that knows all this stuff, but I've been here for 30 years watching the sky and God's creation. Hmm. That's what that stuff does. And some days, it clouds over everything. You don't even see the sun anymore. If you've been paying attention, you know. <laughs> that concludes the uh, conspiracy moment with Coach Randall. Yeah, uh-huh. None of that is real cloud anymore. The airplanes took over the skies and the clouds that were real disappeared. So it should be a nice crystal blue sky right now without this wispy trash, man. Kind of disappointed in humanity as a whole, but hey, whatever, man. Well, that was my day before Easter Sunday, all right? Look, not every day can be your best day, but uh, just keep in mind, if you're having a good day, spread those vibes to everybody. Smile, create conversation, compliment people it's just a good thing to do to bring a smile to everybody's face so look I'm going home to hang out with my beautiful soulmate and my wonderful wonderful boys and my grandson you guys have a wonderful wonderful Easter and remember Jesus didn't tell you to obey men and what they tell you to do it's all about your heart okay So, in closing, I'm just going to say what I always say. Be good if you can. Always be kind and love each other. Peace. Elite Landscape Style. <laughs>